Welcome to another session, um, a live session here today. And today I'm going to be um, talking about why you may not be asking the right questions when it comes to uh, figuring out <clears throat> what you need to do in order to be more active, enjoy life, and uh, you know be yourself again. Uh, without resorting only to medications, without depending only on getting a prop, you know, diagnosis or testing done. This is especially true when it comes to uh, autoimmune conditions where it's really hard to get a diagnosis. So if you are dealing with any of this, then uh, <clears throat> make sure that you hang on till the end of this session today because I'm going to share with you uh, ways that you can get some answers that you're looking for. And <clears throat> If you like what I have to say, make sure that you uh, join the waitlist for my uh, brand new VIP day. It's called Turn Your Confusion Into Clarity. Um, and the confusion is about what kind of autoimmune disease do I have? What are these symptoms? Uh, you know, I have this whole host basket of symptoms and they are completely uh, something that I have, you know, no doctor is able to explain to me. Why do I have this? When will I get a diagno diagnosis? I have certain tests which have come positive or I have done these tests. I think I have this kind of autoimmune disease, but the tests have come negative. It can be either way, right? So there are so many questions that we typically have when it comes to chronic disease. And this is especially true in the case of autoimmune conditions. It is, it is so notoriously difficult to get a diagnosis. So maybe you're not really asking the right questions, right? That's what I'm going to talk about today. So um, again, this is something that I answer in within <clears throat> my uh, one is to one coaching uh, program for those of you who want to get a better sense as to what you're dealing with. Uh, you can sign up for the waitlist for my VIP day. It's called Turn Your Confusion Into Clarity, right? In this program, I it's a one day uh, program where I take you through, uh, you know, the interconnectedness where we explore areas, key areas of your health that you need to prioritize and give you a plan to get going, right? So a lot of the answers that you're seeking for, uh, you know, you will get here in this program. So I'll be sharing the link below. Make sure that you sign up for that um, and just check that out, right? Let's get going. So many of us, you know, seem to be going from doctor to doctor, seem to be getting one test after the other done in order to find answers to what is it that I have, right? Why am I feeling so fatigued all the time? Why I have, do I have this pain every single day, right? So we are looking for these kind of answers. Uh, but as we keep doing more and more tests, as we keep going from doctor to doctor, you know, our symptoms keep getting worse while we're getting, you know, waiting for those answers. But I want to just let you know that this is not your only option, okay, right? Uh, of course, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's necessary that you get a diagnosis so that you can start the treatment that you need to uh, sort of prevent further damage, etc. to feel, you know, to minimize your symptoms so that you can start doing some of the things <clears throat> which will help you to create long-term health. But this is not the only way, right? That's what I want to share with you first. That going uh, just doing tests and tests after tests, this is not the only thing that you need to focus on. This is not the only thing that you should be focusing on. You should also be looking at avenues where you can start laying the foundations of good health, right? And I'm going to touch upon that in a bit, but it mostly talks, you know, starts with your diet, with your lifestyle, everyday lifestyle choices, like going to sleep on time, getting up, up at a certain time. Uh, making certain uh, healthy choices every single day, right? Uh, so that's that's where you start. So not just focusing and chasing a diagnosis um, only, right? That's part of it, of course, because then only you know what medications to take, then only you know what, what you know which path you need to go down towards. But that's not the only path. Uh, you need to do both. The other thing is that. Um, so uh, what happens is when you only do that, you do not, you're not asking this question as to, uh, you know, why do I have this disease? Only thing that you're focusing on is what disease do I have? And just by knowing what disease do you, you have is not going to give you the solution that you're looking for, right? It's 
<clears throat> and many times it takes, as I, said, as I said, you know, it takes a long time to get the answer that you're anyways searching. So things just become worse and worse. So rather than just asking that question, the, the actual more effective question is, why do I have this disease? And that does not depend on any medication, that does not depend on any treatment. Uh, you know, you need to delve deeper into the root causes, which is what actually I do in my uh, VIP day program, which is a one-on-one -on -one exclusive coaching program for the day, where you get a lot of these answers that you are seeking for. And I'll be sharing the link below. So you can join the waitlist now. And uh, the second thing is that medications are not the only solution. They are not the only way. Of course, they are necessary, especially in severe chronic conditions like autoimmune disease and other conditions. They are necessary to prevent further tissue damage. They are necessary to bring symptoms under control so that you can think of doing other things. Because otherwise, if you're extremely fatigued and exhausted all the time, uh, you know, may not be in a position to cook the foods that you need to or even think straight in terms of what changes in, you need to make in your life. So the first thing may be to just use medications to get things under control a bit, low, you know, lower inflammation levels, lower your pain, so that you can uh, take steps which will help you in the long run. So it's not uh, either or situation. So, uh, you know, but that's not the only thing that you need to focus on. And once again, uh, they do not help you to create a healing environment. So, of course, it's a stopgap measure, one which is necessary, but medications are not the only solution. So you don't need to resort to medications to help you uh, feel more active and more energetic. You can do that by taking out certain foods, by foods which are causing more inflammation, for example, gluten and dairy are the two biggest culprits when it comes to, uh, you know, increasing your levels of inflammation by, uh, you know, uh, because your immune system tends to think of them as uh, foe, uh, enemy rather than friends. So they create antibodies towards it. And this is typically in the case of autoimmune conditions. So gluten has to go at 100%. And then you also have other foods like dairy, which is your milk, cheese, uh, yogurt or curd, right? cottage cheese or paneer. So all of this as well. And there might be some other foods like soy, corn, eggs, uh, some nuts, etc. But this is how you uh, basically just not by focusing only on medication, you start cutting down on foods, which are a problem. You start introducing more vegetables, which gives you the nutrients that your body needs to heal. So you need to do simultaneously. It starts with food. You can use certain supplements to help you with this. Um, you can start putting in some routines in place, proper sleeping hygiene, proper eating hygiene. There are many things that you can start doing which does not depend on medications and you will find that as you start doing this you start feeling more energetic you start feeling like yourself again and this is something that we do from day one inside my coaching program uh, so as when i work with clients and i typically work for a minimum of six months uh, right from the start we start laying the foundations of good health which means includes a proper eating hygiene proper sleeping hygiene sleep is extremely important and using food as medicine right food is always key here the first step so the first thing that i mentioned to you is that going from doctor to doctor and just chasing a diagnosis is uh, not going to help you. Only doing that is not going to help you. Of course, a diagnosis is necessary to get the proper treatment, but just doing that by itself is not really helpful. The second is that medications are not uh, the only solution that they have, that you have. In fact, they are not the solution. They will help you to uh, get a better quality of life. They will help you to prevent further tissue damage, especially in the case of autoimmune diseases, but they are not a long-term solution. And last but not the least is that your healing is in your hands. So you have the option of creating a healing environment where you're maximizing uh, things that are required for healing, which might be sleep, which is, um, you know, uh, taking uh, the right foods, um, eliminating certain foods which are not good, uh, minimizing toxins. So all of so maximizing, sorry, so maximizing all the things that you need. So maybe your sleep, maybe more rest in your day. So all of that, then you're also minimizing at the same time things which are not helping your body. So it may be 
taking out, uh, uh, you know, or limiting toxin exposure, whether it's in the form of personal care products, whether it's in the form of laundry, cleaning, detergent products. Again, this is a very big topic that I focus on in my coaching program because I've obviously uh, living in this modern world, we are exposed to all kinds of toxins, whether we realize it or not. And that uh, has a huge impact on our energy levels, on our skin, on our on overall health, right? So, uh, so that's one area. So you minimize that as much, as much as possible. You minimize your negative thinking, your limiting beliefs. A lot of the mindset factor also comes in here. You try and minimize all of this. Maybe it's toxic relationships. So all of this also has to be sorted out. And of course, prioritizing, realizing what is needed right now, what you need to focus because because you know your uh, your time, your energy is limited. You simply can't do all the things at the same time, all the 20 things, 30, 40, 50 things that needs to be done to create long-term health is not possible to uh, do all of that at the same time. So just by knowing what to prioritize is going to really help you. And how do you do that? You do that by figuring out the interconnectedness between your various symptoms, your lifestyle, your, uh, you know, what's happening, your, uh, the timeline that you have uh, sort of been through this. So all of this, so what you have, you know, what have, when it first started, when you last felt really well. In fact, these are questions that I ask in my intake questionnaire. It's a very detailed questionnaire. because That gives me an idea as to what has been the progression of this disease. Uh, because I have mentioned this earlier, in one of my earlier blog posts, and I will link it here, that you know you are on an autoimmune spectrum. It's a spectrum, actually. So you have vibrant health on one end and degenerative disease on the uh, other side. Uh, you know, if you are already diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, you're somewhere in between. So if you're not moving towards vibrant health, you're moving towards a degenerative disease, uh, which is an extreme. These are the two extremes, of course. But all the things that you can do once you figure out what are the key areas of your health that you need to focus on, that you need to prioritize, you can start moving away from disease towards health, right? So that's, that's, that is key here. But knowing what are the interconnections between your symptoms, between your life, between uh, and just putting in a timeline in place to, to understand when it all started, how it all started, what are the triggers, what happened, what came before your first set of symptoms, all of this is really important if you are able to get ahead of this disease, right? So not just react to it, but actually support your body's healing process actively. That's how you create long-term health. That's how you create a healing environment for your body, right? And that's how you feel more active and you don't need to resort to only medication to do that. That's how you start enjoying your life again. Right. So as things fall in place, as your symptoms start going down and I see it all the time with my clients and, uh, you know, which which typically takes quite a bit of time. Uh, you can, of course, start seeing improvements from uh, from the right from the beginning. But to get the entire disease in either remission or really get off medication, so it is possible, but it takes time and effort. Um, but before that, uh, if you want to just get started with knowing, you know, what what is it that you can do, right? right? You know, you're looking for answers. You may not know what disease you have. You may not uh, understand why, what's happening in your body, right? Why is the immune system reacting like this? What are the things that you can do right now to help you start increasing your energy levels, reduce your pain? So all of these, uh, you know, uh, and there's so many things that you can actually do, but where do you actually begin? So all this, uh, you know, you can get all answers to all of these questions. You can get much more clarity around these uh, questions inside my VIP program. It's called Turn Your Confusion Into Clarity. It's a one-day uh, program, six hours. It's broken down into different sessions um, where in, we go through into these topics in depth and we put in place a plan to help you understand which key areas that you want to focus on right now and uh, get going with creating a long-term health, creating your long-term health, right? So we put in place, so first you understand uh, and get answers to a lot of your questions as to what's happened, why am I you know, with this kind of disease? Uh, we draw a timeline so you have full understanding as to what is it that you're facing with or without a diagnosis. And frankly, you don't need a diagnosis to do all of this. Uh, it helps, of course, to have an exact diagnosis, but you don't need to depend on that. 
and you can put in place a plan uh, whether uh, with using food as medicine uh, you know just understanding what are the main lifestyle changes that you need to make so in effect you know exactly what you need to do right now to get started uh, and it all starts by turning your confusion into clarity uh, it's going to be opening soon uh, you know so just sign up for the wait list and i'll be getting in touch with you scheduling a free uh, call on on that um, and i'll see you again soon